and the Canadian people standing together to bring down the Trudeau regime. Today, we look at the same issues from another perspective, asking the hard question, have Canadians run out of time? Next week, all the provincial and territorial premiers will be meeting with the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Health Minister John Yves Duclos for what some consider to be the most important event in Canadian history. By as early as late next week, the Canadian federal government will break Canada's Constitution Act of 1982 by imposing an unconstitutional mandate that removes the irrevocable right to one's own autonomy and anatomy. Said mandate will imply that every citizen in Canada no longer has the right or authority to make their own choices and decisions about their body, and that every citizen in Canada must comply with any medical treatment or experiment proposed to them by any level of government. In addition to the illegal mandate that will remove Canadians' irrevocable rights to physical autonomy, allowing them to make their own decisions regarding their own body and path in life, the fear is that they can remove the rest of the rights and freedoms as well. The Canadian government also intends to impose the Emergency Measures Act. The act will be applied across all provinces and territories. The Emergency Measures Act suspends Section 2 and Section 7 through 15 of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedom for a term of up to five years before a parliamentary or judiciary review is needed for an extension. This means that no citizen will have conscience or religious freedom, which is one of the key stages to implement communism, thus replacing God with government. No citizen would have the freedom of thought, belief, opinion, or expression, nor will any Canadian have the freedom to peaceably assemble or the freedom of association. The right to life, liberty, and security will be removed. Furthermore, the government and its authorities would be able to search, seize, detain, arrest any citizen or property without just cause or any legal recourse. Citizens will no longer be protected from cruel and unusual treatment or punishment. And any citizen could be discriminated against by authorities based on race, national or ethnic origin, color, religion, sex, age, and mental or physical disability, all based around safety. All the rights and freedoms that past Canadians have fought for and that Canadians today take advantage of could all be gone by as early as next week. If the tyrannical dystopian Canadian Compliance Bill is approved, it would of course require funding. And according to the interim head of state, Kimberly Ann Gogan, the unchecked corporate control structure and authority that governments have enjoyed previously will no longer be tolerated. Anti-human legislation will not be ratified, and neither of those things will be funded.